Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create uh, an interactive web app for uh, mapping applications using Streamlit. Streamlit is a very popular Python package for uh, turning your Python script into an uh, interactive web app in uh, just a couple minutes, and you can also deploy uh, the web app uh, for free using the Streamlit uh, cloud. So I'm going to show you step by step how to do that. Uh, first, I want to show you what it looks like. So this is the mapping application that we're going to build. Uh, you can, for example, have this kind of interactive map. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can turn layer on and off. So on the left side here, you can also see the sidebar menu uh, with different items. Uh, for example, we can also have a split map. Right? You can have two different data layers side by side. You can uh, uh, zoom in, you can pan. Uh, you can also turn the layer on and off. Uh, also, laser, for example. So this kind of app can be built just within a couple of uh, lines. So you can see here, only three lines of code, and then you can have a app like this uh, very, very easily. Um, you can also have market cluster, uh, so you can plot points. If you have any, uh, for example, coordinates or cities, GPS points, uh, if you want, you can also plot this uh, on the map uh, very easily. Similarly, you can create a heat map. Uh, sometimes you have some uh, data, you want to create a heat map, for example, population cluster. Uh, you can do it like this. Base maps. So you can also search base map. Uh, you can find any base map that you like. Uh, here's also a demo showing you how to do that. Like you can search the data and then just load the data interactively. For example, I can search uh, ASRI and then you can select any ASRI base map, uh, select whatever you want, and then you will be loaded onto the map. Uh, you can select another one, for example. Right. So very, very easy to use. Again, uh, not very difficult, only a couple of nights ago. I'm going to show you how to do that. And the last one uh, is about web map services. So you can also load uh, basically web map services from the internet. Uh, so you just need to pass the URL. And here it's going to show you uh, all the data layers available through this uh, um, URL. And then you can just load the data directly. For example, this is a world link cover, right? I can also, for example, select uh, any uh, different data layers and it's going to load up and very, very easily. So this is the power of using uh, leaf map and also uh, Streamlit. Next, let me show you how to get started. and and. So I'm going to have, uh, go to the navigate to the Open Geospatial Solutions. So this is a GitHub organization that I created that hosted uh, uh, some of the Python packages that I created. And if you scroll down to this section about the web apps, and so here, uh, actually I created the previous one called uh, Streamlit Geospatial for creating a satellite time lapse. And then one is a bit more complicated. So I also created a map template. So we in this uh, tutorial, we're going to use this map template. So you can just open this uh, uh, repo, and then uh, this is basically a GitHub template that allows you to just uh, uh, use this one to create a new repository. So just log into your GitHub account, and then just use template, create a new repository. And from here, you can just, uh, for example, I'm going to select my name, and then you can just use this. Uh, you don't need to check this one. And for here, you can just give a name, for example, StreamDip. Um, Max, for example, uh, you can choose whatever name you like, and if you want, you can give a description, uh, a stream, uh, deep app or mapping applications, for example, and then just create a repository. So it's going to create this one, basically, uh, put it under your account. So it's basically the copying all the content, all the files from my repository, and that's it. So after that, uh, you can make some changes. So next, I'm going to show you quickly how to deploy this one to uh, Streamlit Cloud because we already have all the files ready. And also, this um, this one is the pre-commit. Uh, you might see the error uh, if you don't enable pre-commit uh, for your uh, GitHub repository. It doesn't matter. So, And I'm going to show you how to deploy uh, to the Streamlit Cloud. You can go to the Streamlit uh, website and then just click sign in from here. Make sure you uh, have an account. Uh, and then once you sign in, you can um, create a new uh, web app based on the GitHub repository that we just uh, created. And so up right here, just click New Apps. And from here, uh, you can either uh, select this one, for example, here, this is the web app. But you need to type, for example, the uh, this file that exists. So you'll be home.py. So this is the main file. Uh, this this is the basically the entry point um, to, the, uh, to the web app. Or you can just click this one, and then you can copy this entire URL, come back to this one, and then click this one, paste GitHub URL. Then I can paste this one here, uh, either one is fine. For the advanced settings, 
if you have any secrets or environment available, you can sit, uh, you can paste it here. But for this web app, we don't need to use any of those. So we can just use the uh, default one. And after that, uh, here you can change the name. So for example, if you want a shorter name or something like that, you can um, be in here. So I would say um, mapping, so it's being used, uh, or may maybe maps, uh, geo, something like that. Whatever name that you want to, or geo maps, let's say geo map, something like that, uh, shorter name, and then just click deploy. And it's going to take uh, two to three minutes. And after that, you should be able to see the web apps. Uh, so it's right now uh, creating uh, the virtual machine and then this building, installing all the dependencies. If you want, you can look at the uh, repository here. I'm going to show you, for example, it's the package stock.txt. This one is basically uh, using, uh, because it's a Linux machine. So we are you, um, using some of the geospatial packages, for example, GDAO. So those things need to be installed in the system. And then we also have some couple requirements to txt, a couple packages, right? Including GDAO and also GeoPandas, lead map. Essentially, we need the lead map. And uh, we also need stream lead. And this one is for uh, doing the web map uh, services. So it's an optional dependency of lead map. Uh, lead map. And right now is essentially uh, building an upper right, a lower right corner here. If you clicked the main is the app, you will see it's downloading, installing all the packages. And once it's done, you should be able to see the web app, okay? And uh, let's wait for it to finish. Next, I'm gonna show you how you can actually clone this one to your local computer. And then you can just uh, install the packages so you can do the development uh, locally. You're also welcome to make changes in here. Um, so it's basically um, very flexible. And for me, I would like to use Visual Studio Code to uh, start doing coding. And I will just click this one, the green button, copy. Then you can open your, um, a file explorer and you can use the terminal so i'm just going to clone this repository to my computer git clone and so b hit enter All right so it's done so right now we actually have this one ready to go and i can open it using uh VS Code. and that's it so now uh it's open it now you can take a look uh we do have the source code and everything uh, up here and so make sure that you create a, uh, the environment that you have uh, streamlit and leaf map installed. So these are some of the packages that you need to install. Uh, you can just, let me show you here. You can use Conduct create, to create a new Conduct environment. Okay. And after that, you can just install uh, all the packages within the requirements of TXT. So it's going to take uh, a couple of seconds to create a new Conduct environment. Then I just Conduct activate uh, ST. Once we're in the environment, I can get into the uh, directory. And from here, I can just pip install hyphen r and then requirements.txt. So it's going to install all the packages. Uh, you are welcome to use uh, conduct for its channel if you know how to use that. But uh, for this one, for simplification, we are just going to use, just use the pip uh, install. And once it's done, then we should be able to uh, activate the um, environment and then you can start uh, looking at the web app. So let's go back to here, see if it is finished. Um, all right, so it's just finished. I'll just take uh, roughly a minute or two. Now you see, we have the web app up and running. And of course, you're welcome to, for example, uh, I'm not sure if the screen is hard to see. I'm gonna change to the uh, light mode right now. So it's easier to see on the screen. So the same print mask, exactly the same that I showed you earlier, but right now it's using your custom domain. So for me, it's geo maps. Uh, you can update the URL later, um, but let's try out some of these things, see if it works, right? You can also change the base map. Uh, so, for example, satellite and um, NFCD, for example. So, everything is can be changed interactively. And the split map, it works just fine. Also, for example, marker cluster. Again, you can see the source code. I will show you uh, how to add a new web app uh, later, uh, basically the new item to the menu. And uh, base map, you see, everything works just fine. And there's not really much you need to do. Just clone, uh, basically use the template to create a new repo and then just deploy it to uh, stream the cloud. And within two to three minutes, then you have the web app uh, up and running. Okay, so next, let me come back to here. And hopefully uh, the installation is done. Now we can start doing the development so we can actually test things locally. So I'm going to open my terminal here and then in the terminal, uh, you can testing it. So I'm just going to conduct activate. 
<laughs> tasty. So when you get into the Kondai environment, then you can just uh, start, um, for example, tasting the web app locally. So what we need to type is streamlit run on .py, and it's going to open a new tab uh, on your browser. So take a look. So right now, again, let me switch to the uh, light mode first. Okay, so this is the one right now running on my local machine. So you see here local ho uh, local host uh, 8050. And so use this template. Uh, you already have a couple web apps in here. Assume that you want to add a new one. So I'm going to show you how to add that uh, easily. And so by default, we're going to put the, because it's a multi-page uh, web app, we're going to put all the apps within the, under the pages directory. So we need to do something very much similar. And so for the next one, I'll show you maybe I'm going to create another uh, web app. And similarly, we're going to use the split map, but we're going to replace that one with uh, some set of imagery. Uh, for this one here, it's a land cover, for example, right? I'm going to replace it with some other data. So what we need to do here is to follow the instruction on the homepage, right? We already finished page one, uh, step one. So the next one is customize the sidebar by changing the sidebar text and logo and the, add the Python files. Um, and then we're going to find some emoji because the emoji is going to show up somewhere in here, right? So in, in, in on the left side here. So we can find the emoji that we like. Um, you can, uh, for example, a heart a face or a star, something like that. So for example, I want this one. You can just come here and then click copy. All right. Then come back to VS Code. So I'm going to right click new file. So you're going to buy sequential, right? One, two, three, four, five. So for the next one, I want to seven and then add a score. They can paste the emoji here and then uh, you can give a name. So for example, this one, I we can create a new name, maybe call um, um, comparison, whatever you like. Um, because we want to uh, compare two uh, images, maybe call raster, okay? Better, raster.py. And once you have this empty script now, I'm going to copy from the split map, right? So because uh, on the left, uh, some of the uh, boilerplate, these are the same. So all we need to do is just, we want to change the split map to other images. So just control A, control, uh, control C, and then just paste this one here. For now, you don't need to do anything. Let me just control S, and that's it. If you go back to um, the web app here and um, refresh it, you should have this one come up at the bottom here. So right now, you see, we have the raster. And it's the same, uh, but we're going to replace the content. So the next, I'm going to show you how we can replace the content here. So all we need to do is replace the left layer and also the right layer. Again, I'm going to go to my Open Geospatial Solutions, and there's a, under the data set here. There's a data set repository. Again, all the links are in the video description below. You can just uh, check that. And I'm going to go to the releases and scroll down to find uh, raster. And here I have two images. Uh, this is uh, uh, Mexar open data for uh, Libya and before and after. So I'm going to maybe copy this one, right click, and then copy link to address. Then come back to here, and I'm going to maybe uh, get a new uh, URL. So this one I would say before, for example, before the flooding, double quotes, and then enter. Next one will be after equal to, and then similarly, I'm gonna get the URL from here right click and then copy you're welcome to use any raster images that you like so they can do the comparison and after that what we need to do is just to change this one so for example the left layer we're going to change it to before and the last layer we're going to change to after okay you can also give a, a label for example left label equal to before that means under the layer a manager you're going to show you the name of the layer so right label it's similarly after, and since this is a set of imagery, there's no link cover, so we don't really need this one. Okay, so we remove it, then control S, then go back to the web app here. Okay, usually after you change the source code, there are a couple options in here. You can just click this one, always read one. Okay, so that means you're going to read one the source code. Hopefully, uh, it will show up the web app, and if you click this one here, the source code should also be uh, updated. Boom, you see, now it's done. You can see the source code. Uh, this is the source code that we use to create um, uh, the web app. And upper right corner here, you should be able to see the before and after. So this is that basically two uh, set of images, Mexar open data. 
and you can see the flooding, right? So this is the before and this is after. And if you zoom in, you can clearly see the flooding, how serious it is. Uh, the entire breeze was uh, um, swallowed away. It's totally broken and also a lot of flooding in the region. So you can use a mouse to drag and you can see clearly compare the differences. So this is the huge, uh, big uh, flooding. And uh, again, what's the date? It was, uh, come back to here, in uh, la July last year, uh, I think September last year. So the July one was the before uh, the event. So you see, so we just, what we did just essentially just update the URL to the Rust imagery and then just change another line. So basically change three lines of code uh, and add a new file to here. Now we have this web app. So once you're done, then you can just commit this one, commit the changes to GitHub. So I'm just going to control S and from here, I can just say add a raster VIZ app, okay? And then control enter, then sync the changes to GitHub. All right, it's done. Now I can come back to my uh, GitHub repository and refresh. You see, so we just committed. And if you go to the pages, look at this one. And after it's uh, pushed to GitHub, a streamlink should build that automatically. So if you go back to the streamlink web app here, uh, I think it's under Geo Maps, right? So uh, low right corner here, you see it's right now it's rebuilding. So hopefully after a minute or two, once it's finished rebuilding, we should be able to see, oh, it's actually already here. So if you click this one, it's loading the imagery. So it might take a couple seconds to load up. Uh, hopefully, uh, it's work. And then just wait for the uh, the build to finish. Okay, it's done. So pretty quick. I think this is all the uh, cloud optimized GOT. So it's in the cloud. So it might take some time to load up. Uh, it's depends on the internet speed, but it works pretty well. Take a look. Right. So this is how you can quickly uh, use the template to create a web app. And you can add anything you like. You can remove the items if you don't like it. And you can customize, for example, about but those are more like the very standard uh, streamlit uh, components. So, for example, the sidebar, the title, the source code should be pretty simple. Most of the, the source code should be just 10, 20 lines. So, you're welcome to go through the source code and then make changes uh, as you see fit. You're going to learn more about uh, the package. For example, uh, it's built on top of uh, LeafMap. Okay, so you just Google LeafMap. So, oh. You can learn a whole lot more about the package. So I have a lot of uh, notebooks in here, shows you how to use this. And all you need to just use the same notebook. And after you're done, just simply run the function called uh, map to stream it. For example, this one, I can visualize just one single image. Uh, you can also visualize a uh, spatial temporal asset catalog. And all you need to just use the same uh, stream it source code as uh, div web source code. And at the end, just turn this one into a stream it web app and set a height then you should be good to go. And then just push the changes to GitHub or you can run it locally. Um, once everything works fine, then you can deploy and then you can share the link with anyone. So hopefully you find this uh, video uh, useful. If you have any questions, you're welcome to reach out to me uh, via GitHub. So you can uh, post questions on GitHub. Um, I'm happy to uh, help you out. Thank you very much for your attention. Um, take care. Bye-bye.